agree or disagree, but first I have to put this out there, Philip, because I'm, I'm fascinated by the argument. But to me, it's still going to end regardless. Let's say the law is changed. Even if that law were changed, it would be the training of law enforcement, because to say deadly force is only allowed means they still have to make the subjective decision as to when it's allowed and, and to pull a gun or not pull a gun. But, Laura, what's your response to that argument that perhaps it needs to be changed legislatively? Uh, it doesn't hurt to have it changed legislatively and, and so that we can at least lower and reduce the number of shootings. Listen, the bottom line is this. Do we want to arrest uh, and take into custody every single individual who's being um, apprehended for a misdemeanor? Uh, now, if you look at things in California, a lot of people, sometimes even on felonies, they'll have a felony warrant. I've had clients recently who, uh, you know, they've been stopped uh, for a traffic violation, and the officer will tell them, oh, you know what, you've got a warrant for your arrest, and they just mm -hmm. let him go. Just go to court on such and such day. As long as it's not a violent crime, it's not uh, a crime where you're uh, exposing the public to some serious safety issues, then you can just tell most individuals, you can tell the suspect or the defendant, and most individuals will, in fact, show up in court with counsel. So this idea that every single individual who's committing a misdemeanor crime or who's got a warrant on a misdemeanor needs to be apprehended and taken into custody, to me, that's the unreasonable part. I think laws need to change there as well. And then we'll have less of those shootings. I mean, imagine this kid. I mean, he's 20 years old. He died in vain. Regardless of whether it was an accident or it was intentional it was a reasonable risk. It was a, whatever, it, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. He lost his life for a, a traffic violation and a misdemeanor warrant. What a waste. What a waste. Yeah, Things absolutely. I think, yeah, I think all would agree that it was uh, senseless, needless, and should never have happened. All right, we do need to take a short break. When we come back, though, we're going to hear about what the defense says and the, the testimony presented about the drugs found in George Floyd's system when we come back on the other side. 